Hello, Sagittarius friends. How are you? Welcome to your May 2022 reading. So let's see what's in store for you. For all of you that have a Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising sign. And we're going to start out, whoops, with the tarot, with this card that just flipped out. So we have first for you. Well, that's a good one to start off with. Ace of coins. Good card. Queen of cups. Ten of coins. The moon and the chariot. Oh my goodness. So right out of the gate, I can tell you, you need to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition this month. Especially when it comes to money and goals being achieved. You know the answers. You know what to do. You will be given the clues. You will be given some signs on what to do in your situation um, with money or health. We have the seven, so you could be starting a new project, signing contracts. Maybe some of you are just starting a new job. That's bringing in more money with that ace of coins. We have possibly, oh boy, you're being courageous in relationships, aren't you? There's possibly a relationship here um, coming in or strengthening of a relationship if you're in a relationship now. I love this lover's card. Look at that. Isn't that great? And we have the queen of cups here. So. The person um, coming in could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but essentially it's going to be someone who's very open emotionally and ready for love. They've dealt with their demons. They've dealt with their baggage. You're both on the same page. All you have to do is be courageous and be open for new love. We have the Ten of Coins with the Ten of Swords and the Six of Wands. Okay. So this kind of goes along with the first few cards I drew here, which point to possibly starting a new job or something new beginning. This is the end of something that was painful and long where you struggled, and it's the beginning of something new that's going to actually benefit you in the long run. This is kind of a legacy card. It's a card where you're focusing on the further future. You're focusing on your retirement, making sure you're going to be financially secure and all those good things. So that's kind of what's happening here. The wheels are being set in motion for you to be set when you're in your retirement age, all right? There's goals being achieved as well, and you're going to be seen as a winner or as someone very gifted in whatever it is you're doing for your career. Now, what does the moon have to tell us? What does the chariot have to tell us? Let's see. Oh, we have wishes coming true, goals being met. There is the utmost security here on the home front for you, Sagittarius. So if you have been seriously worried about keeping your home in particular, losing your home, not making house payments, etc., those worries will be gone probably by the end of May. Um, if you have always wanted to purchase your own home or purchase land, build a home, or you wanted to move or move out on your own. That's also going to be seen as possible here towards the end of the month or by the end of the month, all right, Sagittarius? So we also have the devil that can be earthly pleasures. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. The page of coins and the empress. Wow, and the Ace of Blades. Oh my goodness. Okay. So right off the bat here, some of you are meant to be healers of some sort. Some of you specifically in the medical field, nurse, doctor, um, holistic healer. There's a lot of healing, nurturing, um, maternal, feminine energy coming in here. That in turn could actually be your success. That could bring you great success by doing what in essence you're supposed to be doing. Some souls are put into bodies and are here on earth with certain purposes. So maybe part of your purpose is to heal and help others. So I would, I would consider that, you know, actually, if you have considered it in the past, I would say reconsider it, give it a good, long think this month all right Sagittarius because that could be part of your successful path that we're seeing here 
For some of you, it's a little bit more creative than that. It's coming up with your own ideas in any area, starting your own business. Let's draw you a color goddess casting card. So for you, we have Amber. It's all about ancestry and healing the past and looking into your history, specifically your family history. Sometimes that holds the clues or the keys to our questions here in the present day. And let's draw you a chakra card and see what comes up for you. No colors really jumping out at me yet. Maybe the blue a little bit, I would say. Okay, and for you, we have this purplish stone, which is actually it's bluish. It's lapis lazuli, lapis. It's actually bluish. Um, and it helps the throat chakra. And I would add for me, it helps that third eye chakra expression express your true self the world needs you so there is that blue blue is that throat chakra and it is all about speaking your truth about self-expression creativity and tapping into that energy all right so there you go sagittarius have a great month i'll see you next time bye